Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Right, well, still no power, so looks like I can't do too much. So I've got the truck running at the moment. I've got a power lead running over to a light inside the kitchen. There's little bits of spitting rain coming down. You can just see it maybe. But um, my day of making sausages, grinding up sausages and patties and putting all the jerky away, I think it's fucked. So I'm going to be working on a generator and Little Red today. Is it Big Red? Little Red. So this one was from um, Andrews Martin in Germany. It's a two-stroke and it's a big bastard. When you put the cutting blades on that, you can cut through saplings as thick as your thumb with the blade on it. So Wilfredo is going to be using this this morning. Well, I hoped he was going to be using it this morning to do uh, Donnie's property. However, the bitch ain't going. So I've just had a look and I've just given it a pump with a... Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. So I don't know if it's got a crack in it, so I'm going to have to take this off take the carby off have a look I brought spares you order them 10 at a time so I brought spares off this one so um, it's not pumping up anything at all so um, I want to get this going because this is much more powerful compared to the um, four strokes two strokes bigger power for more heavy revving compared to the four strokes they're little pussy girls so let's see if I can get this going guys Right guys, I tell you, I am getting so lazy in my work, I tell you, I just use all the battery gear now, rip all off. And look at this one, this is one that Bob got me, Christmas time, I think it's last year, whatever. Look at this, turn it around, bang. So you put a drill bit in, and your um, screw flips it or whatever, and just switch it over, bang, just like that. But me, I'm going to use this for the drills. So Bob, thank you very much, this is a very, very worthwhile tool. And I use this a lot, believe it or not. When we've done the clean out with Andrews, with um, Andrews, when we've done the clean out with Martin, what we did was um, we lost the uh, battery in the charger. So Bob gratefully went and uh, all good, ordered one and uh, got us a new one. So thank you very much, Bob. It's a great little tool, this one. Right, so yes, I was right. I was right on this one. It's got a little. got a tear on it. Right there, look, right there. So that's why. It, so you get these, you get these in Lazada and all that places. They come in packs of ten. There's two different sizes: the smaller one and a larger one. Just buy fucking ten of each. Just keep them in the cupboard. Seriously. And then this is a replacement one. Now I just stick her in Bob's your uncle. Look at that. Fucking simple. Right now we've got fuel pumping. Look, you also come through here. Look, that's it. That's your baby. That's the money shot, darling. That's the money shot. Quite an easy fix, isn't it? Set the parts, guys. Especially with your, you've got a farm and you're isolated. You know, get spare parts. If you don't get one, get a couple of them. Because otherwise, you know, you got to wait for weeks for deliveries and all that shit. Honestly, it's not worth it. Right, so it starts but stops. But um, you don't see any fuel mixture screws on it. it must be automatic ones, but they preset and seal them. Oh well, but um, I thought I'd change the spark plug over. And I pulled this cap off and look. Fuck my dog. Oh my god. It's gonna be a bitch to fix. Ugh. Fuck me. Alright, look at that. I don't know how that, that can happen like that. I really don't. I really don't fucking know. But, William, it's always the man. I can try it and see what I can do. Right, still no more power. So I connected to the truck to get the roller door going because I needed extra voltage. So while I was there, I thought, oh, fuck, I might just try this one here, but that worked. So what I've done is I disconnected it off and I put it onto the 12-volt solar and that runs the light inside. So the girls are happy. So I was just finished in the kitchen now, so I've just turned it off. And when, when it comes back on again, I'll be right. But if it doesn't come on, well, leave it there for lunchtime. Right, let's get back into this brush cutter. I don't think we're going to get it, I, I tell you. I don't think we're going to get it. Right guys, so it's 9.40 and the power's just come back on, so I've just packed everything back up again, replugged everything back in, everything's done. But it's too late for me to start on all the um, pork stuff. So what I'll do is I'll finish working on the brush cutter. I don't think I'm going to have much luck with that lead, because it's one of those carbony type ones. It's not a hard wire lead type thing where you can just crimp it and... So I don't think it's going to work. I'll talk to Andrews Martin on that one later on. But um, what I'll do is I'll finish with that. Then I'll go onto the generator anyway, get that done. By lunchtime, I can then have lunch, then start on the 
cutting up the meat, mincing it all down. All I can do is just get it all prepared, spiced up, and put back into the refrigerator. So tomorrow morning early, I can get up and start making patties, start making sausages. So it's a bit of a bugger not having, having that power this morning because I was really looking forward to it. You know, get up five o'clock and get stuck into it. That's what I like to do, just get stuck into it. What are you doing? Ah. All right, guys, back to work. Let's do it. Right, well, that put a stop to it. So um, I'll go online and see if I can find it and get a new part and um, see what I can get online. I know you can get, get these parts online. So, um, oh well, it wasn't a complete fail. At least we got the fuel bowl replaced anyway. But um, if I can find this online later on, no problem. So what I'll do now is I'll go into this bastard. Get in that big generator.